Hello, I'm Raquel Redman from Brava Art Press, visual arts for children, teachers and parents. I am an artist from South America and I study art at the George Washington University in America and at Queensland College of Art in Queensland, Australia. I have uh, done teaching art to young children like you within the classroom for 25 years and also privately in my studio. I teach art to student teachers at QUT, which is Queensland University of Technology within the School of Early Childhood. I like to teach art to children like you and my uh, projects are good from prep, year prep to year seven. And this is the self-portrait video tutorial of the Brava Art series. Today, we are going to talk about self-portraits. Do you know what is a self-portrait? A self-portrait is a portrait of yourself. It's a painting that you do of your face, your hair, your hairstyle, uh, your nose, your mouth, your eyes, and your shoulders. So I got some uh, samples here to show you of uh, some self-portraits that other children like you have painted. So here we have a girl that painted herself in different colors, different um, bright colors, bright blue on the face, two different blues on the face, uh, bright colors on the jumper and a yellow neck. Here we have a boy that got freckles. He painted his, himself with freckles and a little bit of hair on the top and a blue jumper. And also a very nice background, pale blue for background. A boy here decided to paint himself with a yellow face, red hair and red on the background. You see how big his face is? That's what we are going to paint. We're going to paint big self-portraits. I got a, a girl here with a beautiful brown hat and she painted a, a flower, a pink flower on, on her dress. So you have to think about what are you wearing today too. That is important. And another girl who painted herself in very bright colors, this girl from New Guinea with a little bit of hair on the top there beautiful colors, beautiful uh, brush work there. Let's get some inspiration. We have a mirror here. It is a plastic mirror that mum or your teacher can buy at Art Supplies. And looking into this mirror, we are going to find some information about yourself or about myself. So let's start. Look in the mirror, you can do that with me, and find out about the color of your eyes. Are they blue? Are they black, brown? Find out about the shape of your nose, the color of your hair. Is your hair blonde, brown, or is your hair long or short? I'm looking at the mirror and I can see my hair, uh, long hair, I'm wearing some earrings today. My eyes are brown and I also wear lipstick. I love wearing lipstick. I am wearing a red dress with a black shirt underneath. It's important that you also think about what are you wearing today. Other things that you could think is uh, what things that you like or things that you don't like. All of that is going to help you to focus on yourself. You can think of home, uh, you can think of uh, friends, and with all that information and all these feelings about yourself, you can start painting your portrait. Now we will talk about art materials. What do you need to do this self-portrait? First, we are going to have a piece of paper like this. In the classroom, an A3 size is perfect. It could be white, brown, red, any color. And we also have here a small piece of paper 
scrap paper. It could be a piece of magazine or a newspaper or brown paper like this, where you are going to mix your colors. We call it mixing paper. We have two paint brushes, a, a big one and a small one, a cloth to wipe your paint brush, water to clean your paint brush, and the most important material if you are going to do a painting is going to be the paint. And here we have the paint. We have a tray with containers, plastic containers. These containers have a lid. And we have the primary colors. We have two yellows, a warm yellow and a cold yellow, two blues, a cool blue and a warm blue, two reds, a warm red and a cool red, plus black, white and brown. Another way to put um, paint on the desk, remember that the desks are going to be grouped in four, is an ice tray. An ice tray is easy to find in the supermarket. When you finish with the um, ice tray, because we don't have lids here in this situation, all you have to do is put a plastic wrap like this and put it away. It will last for about two or three weeks. At this point, we are going to start drawing and we are going to think about the shape of the face. What is the shape of the face? Is it a square or is it a, a triangle? Isn't it? You guess it's an egg. Your face is the shape of the egg. But in art, that shape is called an oval. And the first thing you have to do to start uh, your portrait is to draw. And we are going to use the uh, paint and the paint brush to draw the oval. So using one color, we are going to use just a blue. Uh, and water, we are going to make Water makes this um, paint, this color, really uh, runny because um, a, a run, runny color, a runny paint will be easy for you to draw the, the face. So you start about there with the oval, big oval, big. It has to be big because um, the paper, the size of the paper, you've got plenty of paper there to, to draw. So that's the basic oval. Then uh, a line here and another line, curvy line there for the neck and probably a line there for shoulders so far. And a bit of the dress, the, that red dress that I'm wearing today, a bit going down. The next th uh, thing you have to do is actually think about this space here. From this line here, which is the uh, um, hairline, you leave a space about there and do one eyebrow and another eyebrow and then the shape of the eyes. Again, thinking of shapes, and those the shapes here are almonds, that kind of shapes. Now, the nose. The nose is always very tricky to draw. So the best thing to do is to draw an upside down C, the letter C, like that, and then a little bit here and a little bit there for nostrils. And then probably you can join that. And from the center of the tip of the nose here, you might think of um, the mouth, right on the center there. And the eyes, it's too dark, too thick. So eyes there, a bit thicker here. At uh, this point, I'm going to probably look at my face again. You can do that with me. 
pick up the mirror and then we are going to start adding other things. So, um, correcting. What I'll do here is to correct the face, the shape of the face a little bit because it's too wide out there. And then I think it's better to add hair at this point. So I have like a roll up here on my hair, like a, a nice roll like this. And ears, don't forget ears. So very simple, again, simple ears from the um, eyebrows to the tip of the nose, somewhere there, some ears. Very simple, we don't need to do a lot of details because um, it's going to be done later on. You can do all of details later on. You might have short hair or longer hair, but my hair goes down here. You see? And then down the other side, behind the ear a bit. That way. Comes down here. That is the basic drawing for um, the face. Now that we finish our basic drawing in one color, we are ready to paint. And to paint, we are going to start by mixing different colors. First of all, we are going to do the color of the skin. To paint this skin, uh, we need certain colors. We need white here. You see, I'm picking up the colors with paddle pop sticks. A bit of brown. A bit of a tinge of black. We won't need a lot of black. Some of this yellow here and red. So basically, to mix the skin color, you need these colors. With white first, in here, in the middle. Uh, good amount of white. It's better to mix a good amount of skin color to start with. Yellow, red, it's going too pink, far too pink. So we have to correct that. And add probably a little bit of black to make it less pinky. To this, a tinge of blue. If you want to mix an olive skin like this, probably a mix of now we are going to start applying the color. There is a, a little bit of a, a spill white there, so I'll use the cloth to clean that. That's perfectly okay. Applying the color then, like that, like rubbing, rubbing the color on the face, like that. Short strokes, no long strokes, because with short strokes you will be able to control the paintbrush a lot better all over the face, on the nose. It doesn't matter if you go over the, the blue lines. Bit on ear, here, and coming down this way. Painting the chin, on the face on the other side. and in between the nose and the mouth here. Now this paintbrush is, um, has, is too big to do it in between the eyes, so we are going to put it back there. And with the small paintbrush, where that's the way to paint here, in between the eyes, the small paintbrush there and there. Ah, oh, don't forget the color on the neck. It's so important. So back to the paintbrush, the big paintbrush. Painting the neck. A lot of people forget about the, the color in the neck. Do you forget? Okay. 
Now, um, I think it's good to do some details of the face. So with this brown and a bit of yellow and a tinge of black, more black. To do the eyebrows in brown, going over the blue, the eyes, the outline of the eyes there, the other eye here. And the actual eye, there like that. And a bit of line on the mouth here. To add a bit of white here and white there. What about up? Ah, we forgot the ear again. Always oh, forget the ear. So just very simple, very simple. You don't need to uh, do a lot of detail. And the mouth. For the mouth, I like to do two dreads together, like this, to mix a different red here, in between. So that's for the mouth. Very simple. We can go. We can go back to the details later on. Now it's time to do hair. <coughs> For hair, uh, I, I'm going to use this brown here to start the roll on the top here. I'll pick, pick up the mirror again because I need a little bit of information from that mirror by looking at the mirror, be mixing a bit more. So. Because as you can see, my hair has dif different um, bits of yellow and bits of brown. But if your hair is all nice and brown or nice and black or nice and blonde, you just do one color. And then we go back to use the small paintbrush for some bits, adding bits here, more details on the hair like that, because my hair got different colors. So there, coming down. You see, I'm using the small paintbrush to add details. And here, on the other side there, just a little bit behind the ear and a bit in front, more details. Oh, sorry. You see, I, I made a mistake here, so I'm going to use this um, piece of cloth and carefully pick up that paint and paint again. More details on the ear. And um, I think it's better to go back a little bit here with those, I got some white bits that I like to cover, so I, I'm going back to it, covering the, the white bits, and a bit there and a bit there. That's, that's uh, the way you paint. And some on the, bit on the neck. More hair this way. Comes up a little bit here. Oh, let's see again. Yeah. Comes that way. Bit darker there. How are you going? Good. Now that we have finished painting the face, we are going to paint the dress. I think I'll use the, uh, a small paintbrush and use this red here to go and sort of draw this dread, dread dress like that in a very loose way. 
bit of white to create some pink. Mixing the color right there, you see? That's it's easy. You just pick up the color and put the other one next to it. Mix it a little bit and leave it. Because if you keep mixing, you make another color and another color. And the looser you paint, the more you enjoy painting. It's really, really um, sort of like rubbing the brush with the different colors there. So if you just let the colors to sit side by side like this, it will be good. Yeah, you can do a bit of pink if you are wearing something red or pink, or you might be wearing something yellow or a green shirt. So you have to really think of what you're wearing today. It's really important because as, as we talk about different things that are going to help you to um, focus your feelings and, and your thoughts on yourself. Now, that bit there should be darker, so we're more details here, fixing more details. Bit of dark here, and bit of dark there, and here, there. Oh, I forgot the earrings. I'm wearing earrings. So, again, uh, I think I like to mix a silvery color, a silver, like that, and surf paint. It has to be more white. Get those falling pendants, earrings. Now that we finished painting the face and painting the shoulders, we are going to paint background. What do you think? Are you ready? Mixing paper, we have more mixing paper here. And for the background, you're going to use um, three colors. You can do two or one, depends on your preference. With the white again as the um, lighter color, the lightest color always first, add yellow and then blue. And that makes a nice color, a nice green called aqua. And we're ready applying with rubbing, rubbing the brush there with the small short strokes and across here. And you notice that I'm not, pre I'm not painting all over. I'm not painting a solid color. I'm just rubbing the brush and leaving some white in between. A bit of water sometimes when the paint gets very, gets a bit um, difficult to, to move around, you just add some water. You wonder why? We are going to show you why. Now, I'll use blue in between. And the blue will mix with that aqua and it will create an interesting background, mixing the two on the paper by applying the um, darker blue right on the paper. That, rubbing, mixing, rubbing that way, just mixing right there on, on the piece of paper. Oh, here, pick up a bit more yellow, have fun. See, it's a lot of fun. Painting is a lot of fun. I hope you like all of this. I think you will, because as I said, it's great. Feels great. Rubbing. Making sure that you have covered all the, um, the edges and the corners, because it's better not to leave bits of white unless you need that to be white. But in this case, we are just covering all the background. Got it? 
and a bit of oops went to the yellow <laughs> And I think it's ready. <laughs> We're going to have a look. What do you think? Does it look like me? It doesn't matter. It's important. What is important is your reaction, your emotional reaction, your feelings, and your ideas about yourself. Because this self-portrait is about you. It's, a, it's about your identity, about who you are. This is the end of our self-portrait tutorial by Brava Art Press visual arts for children, teachers and parents. If your teacher or your mum or dad would like to have more information about these tutorials, they might like to visit bravaartpress.com. Thank you for your attention, thank you for your time, and thank you for painting a lovely self-portrait. See you next time.